Good morning. It's time to go do our chores. It's very dark because it's still morning time. Okay. Just thought we would give you good morning, kid, kitty. A farm update. <laughs> And what's going on so good morning sun is just starting to rise right now I'm gonna take you out and show you what we're up to I'm out here doing chores I don't know if you can see got to put on my boots we're gonna say good morning to everybody good morning Mitzi Mitzi does my chores with me come on girl Let's go see our friends. Hi, ladies. Morning. The sun's coming up good now. I'm going to let that water hang a little bit. You can see there's a leak in the hose, and, you know, they're starting to enjoy that water. But, you know, they've got some bins that I've filled up, and uh, we'll get some of this muddied down so they can roll around in it. And they seem to enjoy that, especially on a Saturday morning. Gives them something to do. I I know <laughs> they're not pets, but I do feel like sometimes they get bored um, after they've rooted up everything. And it's good to have two in one pin because they keep each other company. Um, these two are fun because as I drive onto the property, they come out from their house. And they, um, you know, their their ears are flapping, and they come to greet you. So they they have become a farm favorite. Uh, and at some point in the next couple weeks, I think Andy's going to measure the the big the bigger one to see where we are. Now we're going to head over. It's so pretty out here in the mornings. <clears throat> I'm just going to leave that water running. I'm going to pick up my scoops and we're going to head over to the feed barn so I can show you the setup. This was Rebecca's idea, my 15 year old daughter. We couldn't figure out what to do with bins and we wanted to keep critters out and uh, we came up with this trash can idea. It's a little bit later in the morning. Melissa was taking you around. I'm redoing some of the video because um, my camera ran out of space and I'll have to splice together the sections um, that I actually took and try to put some of this in. She was walking around with some of the morning chores. Um, she wanted to show in one of our little areas uh, where we keep the feed for the, you know, chickens and pigs. Um, we utilize these kinds of cans. Uh, we have some um, very, we have various animals at night that come around. They come through the back orchard, um, and it ranges from raccoons to we have bobcats, we have coyotes. Um, we've seen them all here, and we have learned over time that we need something sealed. So we bought these cans. Um, the first one is uh, uh, for chicken food, uh, crumble. Uh, the second one is whole corn, I believe, right now. Um, cracked corn, we have uh, pig feed, um, and just depending on what we need is what goes in them, but that's pretty much what's in them right now. Um, let's move on. Our sparkles and pork chop um, they get fed in the morning and they get fed again in the evening um, I did a video uh, not too long ago concerning their actual pen um, like I said in that video depending on if you've seen when we first got them um, this was all grassy and it was pretty and well this is what pigs do so um, but they're actually pretty well mannered. We just got them uh, eating for breakfast and we'll move on. 
they've also been already let out. We were trying to videotape that, but again, the camera had died. Um, out of our initial... Yeah, we hear you. There's Fat Albert. Uh, he's a EE -E rooster. We have two of those, at least. Anyway, out of the original 17 we had in the first video, um, through bobcats and coons and coyotes, um, we ended up with seven. Uh, since then, we uh, raised up uh, 15 buffs, who I'm very happy with. We just introduced them uh, to the coop area and uh, combined the groups. Um, it actually went really well. Um, and we also have, mm, I think, two more EEs that were raised up with them. There's one in between the buffs over there. And well, there's another EE rooster. That's a young one, too, from the buffs. It's not a buff, it's an EE, but it was raised up with the buffs. So we have them. We have these out for. Travel up. There's the, one of the trio. They're probably hiding. There they are. We have three ducks who are very shy. And they live. In this, with another video of us building that. <coughs> he crows all day, all night. I don't really know. He likes attention, I guess. So anyway, the chickens get fed. <coughs> uh, chicken crumble. Uh, and for a treat, we give them cracked corn and seeds, depending on what we have at the time. So... We still have a ways to go before some of these guys are laying, but that's okay. All right, let's move on. Just uh, an update with this coop. Um, I built these uh, nesting boxes on the side and they've actually been working really well. For the majority, uh, they lay their eggs in here and yeah, we have a broody. She's been sitting on those eggs for some time at this point. But it's been working out really well. They're getting ready to go have a little swim. Uh, the fire pit. I've gotten several comments on the uh, fire pit. Uh, we've used it several times. Um, have not had an issue with it. Some people were saying, you know, the blocks cracking I totally get all that maybe we don't use it enough um, you know for that to affect but we've had no issues um, we've had it for six to eight months and had about I don't know a dozen fires in it now understand we use that primarily for uh, burning brush you know if I'm trimming trees, raising them up a little bit. I've done a couple of trees around here for that. You know, anything that's small, we put in it, that's what we use it for to burn it down to get rid of it. So if someone's gonna be busy today down further. Um, but we've had no issues. Now I'm gonna be building a fire pit for us to like cook and stuff on, and that'll be another video when I get to it. But I've got several projects coming with that. All right, you can probably still hear the beeping. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, like I said, I have other projects before I can get to that. Um, we just purchased, um, some New Zealands and we're going to start with that as well. So I'm going to be doing a video soon on building a rabbit hutch. I've been looking at several different ways to do it. Um, and I think I have it down how I'm going to do it for us, but, um, I don't know when that's coming. It'll be relatively soon, but... As soon as I can get to it, I will. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Um, I'm gonna start trying to do videos more often. Um, we've been through some 
stuff recently where our attention's just been drawn to other places. So I apologize for videos coming very haphazardly, if at all. So again, hope everyone has a good weekend and I'll talk to you soon.